Hello folks, Max Arena the Genius here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit levels in Kid Chameleon using Kid Edit. With Kid, with uh, um, also with, with the uh, sidekick with uh, Kid Tool. So this tutorial is going to be different than the previous videos that I have on my channel. Um, first, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to our web browser. And we're going to go into the Kid Chameleon Wiki. It's going to load up. And we're going to go to the search bar. We're going to type in K E. We're going to click on K E. this page right here um, what uh, so so here's this um, 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 confusing part um, if you have a uh, if you have a, a, a 2008 or older model PC you should download this link right here but if you have a 2010 or later PC you should download this link and they're pretty much the same so you just when you click on the link it'll load the four shared um, website where it has the zip file, all the zip files and everything. And once you've done that, after it downloads, um, I already have Kid Edit zip file already here, and I have everything of Kid Edit already here. But I'm just going to show you um, where um, after you um, after you download it, your zip file will look. Um, something like this right here as soon as you get it you're going to click it um, you'll have your maps.zip file which has all the maps in there to edit for Kid Chameleon it has the it has the themes.zip um, which has from 1 through A which is basically meaning the theme of the um, of the uh, what, which type of theme you're in or whatever, like in the woods, like like the woods theme, the mountain, swamp, etc. And you'll have your um, ke text file and your kit edit data file, data file. You'll have your kit edit app and your kit tool app. Um, let's yep, yeah, that's what's in the folder. So. So what you're gonna do, either, either if you want to drag it to the desktop or into your user um, folder, first what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag the kit edit, the two kit edit files, and the kit tool um, file, which is two applications and a data file. You're gonna drag all that on there, and you're gonna and you and if you uh, and you're gonna select and in the map zip uh, zip you're gonna you're going to choose which map you'd like to edit in. Um, which, and your first level, if you have a different level, you should rename it map 4A because that's the first header of the, of the level. And the themes is basically where you, what type of theme you have, you should drag it in there as well. Um, and once you're done that, I already have everything working on my uh, game right here, so I'm just going to show you for example, for a sample right here. Um, once you've done that, you're going to drag, when you're ready to edit, you're going to drag your map into the KitEdit app. And you can see this already this opens. Um, you press F1 to hide the help or show the help right here. As you can see it says F1 help, you press it again, you press F1, when that's on, you press it to hide it, and it has, that's the help um, um, center, where you, where, you, where you need help on, whatever. Alright. Alright. Let's begin on editing. So, first off, let's start with the tiles. So you press plus or minus to switch tiles. Spikes. Um, Alright. So to copy.
copy and paste the tiles, you press C to copy, and then you paste it by pressing P on where you'll put look up what location you want it. Um, that's how you can do it. Um, you can also move the flag and the character, which is Kid, and the flag. You can move both of them in the game. Um, I'm just going to leave it right here. Right here. Um, Alright. And, and alright. Now let's begin with the blocks. So, on the right corner, on the right, I mean on the right side here is the blocks. So we're going to choose iron blocks. I'm going to load it like right here. Like three right here. I'm just going to load And if you want to delete the blocks, easy. You just click the delete. Um, it deletes all the blocks completely. It deletes the blocks completely. And, and I'm just going to surprise block. I'll load them right here. Um, all right, we're gonna. Uh, all right. All right. So you use the asterisk to uh, to scroll up and down which option you want for the block. And you and as soon as you find your option, either hidden, whatever, I'll do the middle hidden so you can to so you can press plus or minus to agree with it or not. To agree it or not. But you by pressing uh, press um, plus or minus. gonna say I'm gonna name it this prize block I'm not hidden I'm gonna name it I'm gonna put it as a um, uh, berserker helmet and and the easy way to edit tiles faster if it's tricky um, in tile editing um, you just press the slash key and, uh, and and you can like switch all around numbers Find your um, head, um, whatever your uh, tile can be based on, whatever, to make it faster, tile editing faster. By doing that. Um, and if you want to find out which tile layout you want to use for your, uh, your tile editing, um, Drios has a set of tiles where you can change the value, like I have right here, forest tiles, for, a sample, for example, for example, there's the layout for the numbers and the layout for the tiles, you can figure out the slash whatever to make the tile thing faster and quicker than usual. Um, um, I'm going to use a, just use a, yeah, I'm just going to use a vanishing block. I'm going to, well, those vanishing blocks, we're going to make that one left and we'll make this one right. Collision box, um, you can do a, like, for tunnels, I'm just going to say, make a hole right here. And to uh, hide the kid in position, so you won't see him in the in the in the um, secret area hidden. You just change it to solid on the one on the left and right, except for the middle. All right, yeah, that's good. All right, when you're finished with your editing, to save the level, you just tap S. We go. Alright. And to close and X out of it, you just tap escape. That's good. And and next step is you uh, have your um, Kid Chameleon um, Genesis ROM for your emulator, which I have for example uh, right here. And you can either download it from the uh, emulator website or whatever. I'm not going to show you, but you'll figure it out yourself. Um, 
so, the, so what we're going to do now, that's good, All right, now we're going to do, so uh, if you have everything in your user folder, you're all set, but if you have it on your desktop, you've got to be sure to move it into your user folder, which won't be too bad, but it'll just, just that one step you just take your time with and make your ability to, alright, once you're done that, you're going to import the levels, um, and by importing the levels into the game, there's either two options. You can either, here's one, here's one. Um, you can either open command prompt by dragging in uh, kit tool and the ROM that you have for the, your kit chameleon ROM for the emulator. import all those levels into the game that you've edited into the game or you can make the uh, make a uh, batch file as a kit importer and by doing that you're gonna have to um, first what you're gonna do is you're gonna make new go to right click on the desktop go to new make a text document name it Kid Importer. I'm going to open it up. And here's as follows in my copy. I'll show you how it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in at symbol echo off all lowercase uppercase, all uppercase, title, k-e, -E, all lowercase, color, 27, all uppercase, start, kid tool, dot exe, Alright, 
Let's just skip all this crap here. Let's go to our level that we that we uh, edited, for example. All right, this is the um, level that I'm working on. This is the um, game that I'm working on for uh, for my projects, uh, Arm 69 projects. All right, let's see if it work. Here it is. Surfer helmet. Engine block shooter blocks marks. Blocks are here. The um, tiles are here. Everything works awesome. It spawned perfectly. Everything looks great. And everything. And that is pretty much it. Uh, so I hope all that helped you all out. So make a comment, like, subscribe, etc. Um, this is the end, folks, and I'll see you guys later. This is Max Serene and the Genius signing off.